the thing is, is that there's other things, there are other components to this material besides just the color map. Okay, so let's see, let's go ahead and let's create another texture node. Here. And let's go ahead to this little folder icon. And let's go to under textures and we'll find that it actually has what's called a normal map. So let's bring that in. And plus no over there. Now, what is a normal map? Well, there's actually it's it's kind of a, a bump map. And now if you're asking me what a bump map is, then I'll then I'll tell you what that is. So what a bump map and normal map is, is it's a texture map that perturbs the normals on a surface to make it look bumpy. Now, what is a normal of a surface? Well, for example, if this is a surface, a normal is usually 90 degrees perpendicular to that surface. And from the position of the normal, you can calculate the lighting. Okay, now, if you have a surface that's very smooth with not a lot of geometry on it, you know, you every polygon has its own normal. Okay, now, if you want to make that look bumpy, you have two choices. Either put a lot more polygons on it in order to get a lot of geometry in different, you know, with different normals on it, which would make you a very heavy model because it would have so much geometry in it or you could use a bump map or a normal map and what it is is that in the case of a bump map it uses a grayscale map to create the bumps on the surface different shades of gray changes the normals uh, and in the case of a normal map it's like even more information, okay, because I will show you, like, for example, here's a bump map. And as you can see, it just uses, like, this is for a wood. You can see that it just uses grayscales. So whether wherever there's going to be a darker gray, it's going to be like an indentation into the surface, okay? But in the case of a normal map, there's a lot more information. Okay, so we'll bring in this normal map for this thing. And you can see here that that it not only uses, it doesn't use grayscale, but it uses like RGB values, which also give you, gives the renderer angle information for the way that the normals are. So both are good, but a normal map is can contain more detail and is more powerful than just a grayscale bump map. But they're both useful, uh, but the normal map has more information in it. Now later we're actually gonna talk about something called a displacement map, okay? Because in, if you use a bump map or a normal map, although the surface might look bumpy, if you were to look at it from the side, very close up, it would still look very smooth, that at least the profile would look smooth but the surface would look bumpy. In a displacement map, it actually creates more geometry. And then if you were to look at something on the side, then you actually would see that it has like pits and craters in it physically. So if you're going to be using, like if you're going to be doing like, you know, like a mountainside or a cliff side or something like that, you probably want to use displacement maps. But if you're going to be doing like the surface of an orange, probably you'd be using bump or normal maps because you're never going to get so close to the orange that you're going to notice that, you know, that it's not, you know, pitted like that, you know. So it depends what you're doing, what you want to use. Bump maps are used very, very often in computer graphics. And displacement maps are also used, especially on like rocky surfaces and things like that. So... What we want to do is we want to use this normal map 
to make the surface of that wood look bumpy. Because right now, if we were to look at this surface of this wood, you can see that it looks very, very smooth. And it's shiny too because there's, there's a high degree of re reflectivity on it. Okay. So it looks almost like, you know, shiny plastic or something. Not very, you know, useful for us for what we want to do. So what we're going to do is that we can't just take the out color and put it into the bump map. That's not going to work. Okay. What we have to do is we have to first create what's called a bump node. So we're going to click on this plus button. We're going to choose bump like that. And we are going to pipe the out color from the normal map into the input of the bump node. Okay, make sure, by the way, when you create a bump node, you don't choose the bump blender. That's a very common mistake. You want the bump map. The bump blender lets you blend multiple uh, normal and, and, and bump maps to create like composite bumpy surfaces. Okay, but we want just a bump map. Now, so we put this bump map into the bump, we put this normal map into the bump map node. And the first thing we have to do is we have to tell this bump map node that we want it not to be a height field. Now, a height field is just a grayscale bump map. But this is actually a real normal map. So we want to tell it that we wanted to have it a tangent space normal. Okay. So that's the kind of normal map that we want. Now it knows that it's a normal map and not a bump map. Now, the problem is, is that if we were now to go ahead and pipe this into the bump node, okay, it's not really working. Something's wrong. I mean, it kind of works. You see some bumping here. But the thing is, is that a lot of times, if you're not getting a result you're expecting, what you can do is normal maps are made differently by different programs. Okay. So sometimes what you have to do is you have to go over here and you have to say flip normal Y. If your bump, if your normal maps are not if you're not getting the the result you're expecting to get, flip the normal Y like that. Now, as soon as I flip the normal Y, you can see that this is behaving much more because I needed to flip that normal Y. And you can see that it's no longer like a really smooth surface, okay? But you actually have a, um, a bump on the surface. It's bumpy, okay? Now, if that's too bumpy for you, you can um, you can lower it. So like we're let's say let's lower this to 0.66, okay? So it's not quite as bumpy. Okay, it was more bumpy the other way, this way. Okay, or we'll lower it. Let's say if we lowered it to 2.25, then it's very very light. Okay, so we'll let's do 0.5. Okay, so there we have it. We're like really close to it, so it's, 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 it's exaggerated, but it's a little bit bumpy. You can see it here like that, and that's our normal map.